The road had been covered in a dense fog. Dennis decided to rent a room for the night, seeing she had parked near an unfamiliar hotel. She got out of her car, looked around for any signs of an entrance within the grays, the gray haze. A small light broke through the fog to reveal a grass door leading into a hotel lobby. An aged man behind the counter looked at Dennis with an exhausted expression. Can I help you miss? He asked in a fatigued voice. Dennis came forward and asked uh, for a room. After the exchange, she was given a key. She headed to the room and locked the door behind her. She sat down for a moment, talking to her partner who had always listened to her. He was always there. From her disastrous divorce to her parents' death, no one understood her quite like he did. He made her feel safe, always protecting her from cruelty of the outside world. She left it all behind with him on her side. He never judged her. He never let her down. Dennis felt complete when she first held him. A woman who had always traversed life on a single path. When she held him, she felt a power that not only he could provide. Dennis took out a wine bottle, slipped on, sipped it on it with a tearful satisfaction that, as the stereo vibrated with her favorite music. The night was still, still enough for her thoughts to come racing through all at once. She recalled the old saying, Your mind can be your worst enemy. Her imagination ran rampant with different possibilities. What could have been, how things should have been, and how it was all too late to change. Choices cannot be taken back once they have been made. Dennis went into the bedroom, spreaded her makeup all over the sink. She fixed herself up perfectly for her partner. She always took pride in how well she could place crimson lipstick on her soft lips. Dennis was a beautiful woman indeed, but she never saw herself that way. Her ex-husband didn't care that she was the vision of beauty. His only goal was the conquest of other women's hearts. Dennis's partner eventually took care of that problem. The music shifted to soft jazz. Dennis slowly danced out of the bedroom and over near the bed, where she took her partner and swung him around to the beat. Dennis held him tight as the night progressed, all while tears tears rolled down her eyes, her mascara mixed with the water trailing down her dimples. The dance came to a stop, the moment the music ended, in a sound of silence. Dennis looked at her partner, ready to do what she had been wanting to do for so long. She got to her knees, grabbed, her, grabbed him firmly. She always admired how big he was, often filling him up to remember how much strength he'd given her. Slowly, she placed the shaft in her mouth as far as possible. Utter bliss went through her body. She was finally doing what she had been wanting to do the whole time. She closed her eyes as her partner finally said something throughout the long, cold night. Bang. The shot was heard for, by several rooms. The police found Dennis' body on the floor. She committed suicide rather than being arrested for shooting her ex-husband. Next to her beautiful corpse laid her partner, a .357 Magnum.